Hey guys, how's it going? Kapran here. Today I want to bring you guys a sponsored Elder Scrolls Legends video. It is a pretty interesting time for this game. It just launched on mobile platforms. As a result, there's a huge influx of new players and you kind of get that, you know, very fair experience trying the game for the first time. And of course, as the arena player in Elder Scrolls Legends, I have noticed that uh, my opponents are generally a bit softer than before. And despite my inexperience, or at least prior to the last few weeks of play in the game, um, have been doing really, really well. I've done, I think, five arena runs in the Versus arena, and I've gotten maximum seven wins, that is the cap, uh, in all but one of those times. And traditionally, I really like the solo arena mode of Elder Scrolls Legends. Uh, it's very different, I've learned, and uh, really hits different spots, though. Since the last expansion has come out, Heroes of Skyrim, there is uh, a pretty big difficulty jump in solo arena, and versus arena is kind of a break from that while keeping the arena format. So today I want to talk about the arena formats and the general strategy you should approach each one with because they are actually very different. So Elder Scrolls Legends is an amazing card game. If you guys haven't checked it out, I do encourage you guys to. Please use my referral link if you do. And the, the game really excels in the storytelling, in the PvE experience. There's so much PvE content in the game. There's still PvP Arena. There's still ranked mode. It still has the core of all the other games. But in terms of the PV experience, it really goes above all the rest that I've seen. So uh, it has a solo arena mode. In solo arena, you're playing against computers, but they play varying classes, varying decks. There's different advantages that they start with or that they propagate throughout the game. And the main advantage that you have as the player going up against solo arena is that the AI typically doesn't care for your health loss. So if you, if you don't know, in Elder Scrolls Legends, as you lose health, your runes break and you draw additional cards. And it's a pretty valid strategy, especially in solo arena, to, you know, kind of draft more of a mid-range deck where you often will lose the early game, but your opponent will run out of cards because you don't damage him and he's damaging you. So if you have cards that heal you, cards that have guard that can stop attacks from incoming creatures, you can hold on and actually overcome an opponent who has won the early game against you. And that is the core of the basis of the strategy in Solo Arena, at least from my understanding. Cards that guard, cards that heal, cards that do direct damage, cards that shackle, those are generally what you're looking for. In general, you want to play the more passive way because if you take the other stance, if you play more of an aggressive deck, you'll see that because of the alternate rules that you often encounter in solo arena, you'll find yourself, even with the most aggressive, most prime aggro decks you could possibly get in that game mode, behind because of the starting positions of some of the opponents in the game mode. The really exciting thing about solo arena in Elder Scrolls Legends is the fact that as you do well, as you get flawless 9 win cap and solar arena nine win runs um, you will see that the ai improves the ai has better decks better cards it really gets very difficult you know it, it's it's a pv experience that's dynamic with your skill and experience to play it. and it's very unique in a card game especially as well as it's done if you venture over to Versus Arena, it's a completely different game. It's a completely different game because there are no starting advantages. There's no like crazy rule sets, crazy synergy decks, all of that. People are typically drafting very similar things. So what you end up getting is that face decks are actually pretty good. Um, I really learned to value the red color in Elder Scrolls Legends, which excels in direct damage, some board clears, but more importantly, very powerful weapons. And with these weapons, you can get the burst damage that most decks are not capable of dealing with. Because you're playing a very aggressive face deck, 
The other side of the strategy is to pick as many prophecy cards as possible. So if you draw a card from rune loss, even though it might be your opponent's turn, getting a draw with a card that has the prophecy keyword on it will have it played automatically or not if you choose, depending on the situation. So what ends up happening is it's it's like the main counter to face deck. So you can draft a face deck with prophecy cards. You know, you're you're really like in in it. That's what you want. And um, because there are a lot of new players, I feel right now, if you're a very good, if you're a very solid card game player, you'll see that your basic understanding of the game and how tempo works will give you a pretty big advantage. And I imagine most of you guys that are watching right now probably are going to do pretty damn well in versus arena. But what I really appreciate is that you have two arena modes, both done very well, both, you know, full featured but they highlight very different aspects of the game so you know it's it's not just that you know when i go into a game and i play arena you know i have i have fun it's cool i try to push just on my own will different aspects different deck types just to try to explore the game in elder scrolls legends i can do twice as much of that you know if, if i'm feeling like playing an aggro deck i can jump into versus arena and i can shoot for that or maybe like a super counter aggro deck if i want to play more of a mid-range grindy defensive deck i can jump into solo arena and most of the nights that i've played elder scrolls legends these last few weeks i've done just that i've done a little bit of each one and it's felt overall very good so today I want to just give you guys a few clips of my recent run so you can see what that's all about and maybe my little talk has guided you guys into checking out the game and if you're already playing maybe give you guys some perspective to have an extra advantage in these game modes. Enjoy the clips, check out Elder Scrolls, links below, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Let's try the other, same colors. I got three top decks. Well, he got like the craziest opener, you'll see with that. He got all three of those one drop legendaries that punish rune loss. Is littered with the most deadly oh my fire. god. Gladiators, good luck! This is like roll the dice. Okay, good thing I'm on second. So here you play an action, summon a random creature in this lane with the same cost. Creature summon here, attach a random item to it. Okay. Training is over. It's time to act. Oh my god, what the hell? Ancestor's battle axe! Yeah! What have we here? You can't defeat me! Okay. Your time has come. All right, that wasn't supposed to happen. My sword hand itches. What did what did you get? Spear of embers. My scales. You can't defeat me. Farewell, <gasps> I'll mend the wall. Oh. oh, that's a big one. There isn't a lock that will keep this one up. No, no. Scales move in shadow. You can't defeat me. My scales move in shadow. Damn prophecy. I am ready to join the circle. My scales move in shadow. Okay. I have no fear of you, cowardly skeever! Uh. 
Our voices will not be taken. Not in my city. Protect the whole ninja. Okay. Steal keywords. Is it not keywords? Do you not fear me, mortal? You should. <sighs> so much for a clean escape. Trolls, <laughs> care to join me on the hunt? Let's play one for fun. Kajit will find a way in. Eh, that's not that much fun. That's about as much RNG as you'll ever see in this game. I'm gonna keep that. My main issue is that I'm playing an all-in face deck. And because I'm going first, I have the the mana disadvantage. The first three turns at least, but those are the turns that really matter. They make it too easy. I'm ready for anything. More and glory. Let's heat things up. Am I not going to get a play here? Okay, I am fine. Close ranks, let nothing through. I'll kill you where you stand. All right, that was a pretty good save. The longer the odds, the sweeter the victory. Maybe I should just play that. Let's see your fighting stance. Control him. This doesn't really do much. Too late for you. Let's make the answer. Don't it look away. When the time comes, when the time we'll comes, be ready. we'll be ready. This is obviously really weak to the one damage to all type of card. Let's heat things up. I'm getting so unlucky right now. It's the hundred percent on the answers. Every single one of the last games. The watch is mine. Too late for you. For Skyrim.
This should be good. There is plenty for all. Another ridiculous answer. Uh, is that not an orc? Oh, it's a slay ability. Okay. Too late for you. That's pretty damn good. Work. Okay. I will fight for my hold. I am ready to join the circle. I don't want to give him a card right now. Whisper your need to the scales. Superb work. I think I'd rather have a weapon. Let's make the ancestors cry. The moon's call to me. Uh oh. What's the draw here? This should be good. Yeah, and a crazy lucky prophecy at the end. It's just a redraw. Fifteen. Got him.
Got it again. What a momentous occasion! Presenting a new arena legend! <sighs> Got lucky with those weapons. Ladies and gentlemen! Yeah, I don't know if I was really overwhelmingly lucky that game, though. Overall, that is. A dramatic finish. I think I'm seven wins, four for four now. Got three packs last time, I got three packs this time. here. Thank you for watching. I get drops every time I stream. Every day that I've streamed this game, the next day I log in and I get something for free. I don't know if you have bonus chance at drops for streaming the game, but um, yeah, I'm like 6 for 6 on that.